Hey friends. The lighting looks really good right now, even though it's overcast. It's going to be overcast for quite a few days in my neighborhood, but um, I should do this angle more often because I have the light on. I'm just making some toast and um, for breakfast. Um, and wanted to update you because I just just came in the door for um, from my ultrasound check-in. So it is about three days after my last check-in when I had a new schedule to go and do my second follow-up. I'm just like not in a great mood right now because I just like had to get so many blood draw attempts like it's so annoying and i just i just got unlucky today i think i just got a really bad nurse or medical assistant and i've seen her a couple of times now and she's just really awkward and i think she just triggers me a little bit because she's like this really 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 awkward asian girl and you know, I like feel like kind of like feel sad about it, but I also got just I couldn't feel sympathetic because she couldn't get the blood out and like the blood the blood draws are definitely a little more painful than like the injections I give myself. Everyone's had their blood drawn, you know. And after a while, you kind of run out of places to get your blood drawn. And like, it's part of the checkup every time. So I wanted to do this arm because it had been a while, but she rooted around in there. I was like, <laughs> I could just feel her moving around and she came out and there was nothing. And I was like, I don't think it's all her fault. Like maybe I didn't, maybe I am a little more dehydrated, but I don't feel like I am today. And it's true. I, I didn't get a chance to eat because I ate so much last night and I just like wasn't hungry this morning, but whew, I've had my blood drawn plenty of times before um, without having eaten anything. Like the first time I went in, I had to get six vials of blood drawn and I had not eaten anything. And that was really, really stupid, actually. That was really stupid. But because I didn't know it was going to be that much blood and they didn't tell me. But it was totally fine. I had a juice. They have snacks. It's fine. I had tons of blood that day. I had tons of blood every other day. And people were so fast about it because this is like they do like 30, 40 of these a day. So it's like they're like perfectly coordinated machines just like bl drawing blood. And last time I was like, it's funny because last time it was like so swift and awesome. I was like, wow, you just set a record. Like I didn't really feel it. It would just like happen so fast. And this time you could just, some people are just really awkward and like, I don't want to say like slow, but just the way she talked to me and stuff was just like really awkward and slow. And she wouldn't like, she would like not remember stuff. Like she was totally checked out. Like she seems really, honestly, she seems just like really, really high like really out there like kind of like repetitive like in this child voice that like she does not like doesn't ever waver it's like the same weird child voice that she has with whenever we talk about anything and she just like doesn't isn't really clear on her directions so i just felt really awkward and I hate those situations when you're like I knew it was gonna be bad you know like she was the one who showed me in and was like sort of she was like assisting on like my ultrasound which was fine she didn't need to do shit for my ultrasound but when I saw that she was the one who's gonna take my blood today after the ultrasound I was like oh shit like I see her fumbling around she doesn't like have all her supplies she doesn't really know she does she does a countdown when she when she pokes me and it's like I really don't need that and but I didn't want to mess up her her process like if anything I just wanted her to feel comfortable and I just hate that as a patient a lot of it is like I'm paying thousands of dollars and I have to make other people feel like 
you know, whatever they're comfortable with because of their skill set. I don't know. It was fine. It's fine. It's just I feel sore and I feel tired. So I asked her afterwards, too, like, why do you think that was so difficult? Like, there's, like, it's never happened to me before. And she, like, was really unresponsive. Like, again, I just feel like she was high. And, yeah, so she had to move it to this arm, but it wasn't, she wasn't getting much out of it. I had to, like, keep pumping my hand. I was there for a while. She was like, I think that's enough, which is just really great to hear. But whatever, you know, there's no way I'm triggering tonight. And I'm going back again tomorrow. God knows where I'm going to get poked. But if it's not enough, it's not enough. It's like her issue. I already, and then I, I just couldn't handle it. Like, I mean, I just don't think it's that big of a deal to communicate. I mean, I'm all about, if you're not happy with something, like tell someone. I know it's really caring of me. Like not caring, but caring of me. But I only do it when I feel like, I don't think I have a high, a low tolerance for stuff. I'm really tolerant about stuff, but you know, and it could have been my fault that something in my body today was dehydrated, but I just thought it would be best to communicate more than less. So I went, when I left, she only got like half a vial. And then when I left, I just, at the front desk, I was just like, it was just really awkward. I had a really difficult blood draw, like, it wasn't coming out. It was, the whole thing was really like, you know, it's just like, it, it would be if I went and drew someone's blood. Like I'm watching a YouTube and I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna like take this and like there's some other stuff I have to like put on and I forgot this part and that part. And I'm just like, she's gotta be high. There was no other, like, I couldn't imagine. Like she forgot something after she like put it in my veins. And I was like, wait. What is going on? So anyway, I'm just like still feeling really out of it. I'm feeling really out of it. I didn't think it would be like this. I walked home just like in a daze, like get me home. It doesn't really make sense to me why I feel like a probably a egg freezing fuck fucking Probably the high freezing shit. It's, it's not fun. But other than that, it was a freaking awesome appointment, actually. Um, this is a bad angle. Because it's actually a great appointment. Love my doctor. I'm gonna go back again tomorrow. Mm, I'm gonna put up my, the sizes of my follicles today. As you can see, my left is doing so well. It's getting really big. I have like 20 millimeter follicles, which is good, but also like the others aren't super in sync. So that's why it's like kind of annoying to time these things and you don't want that one to get too mature. So I'm gonna give it one more day. She sounded pretty certain that I was going to trigger tomorrow. And she said tomorrow is technically my ninth day. See, I thought tomorrow was my eighth day. Who knows? This thing is much faster than I thought. I can't wait for surgery. I'm not nervous about it anymore at all. I'm so happy for it. So, I think I just need to calm down. I mean, obviously I look calm, but I'm not even calm down, just like get out of my numb fuck thing. Because when I get anxious and I, when I get upset, I just feel like I numb out. I don't get it. I mean, there's nothing to get, but it's just like it's just, when you have a weird interaction with someone who's like really unresponsive and you're trying to connect with them, when you're like, I genuinely just wondered, like, is it me? Can I do something better? Or are your skills fucked up? I don't want to say that, but like, anyway. That was awkward. I'm really, really, really glad I'm not doing this again. My doctor assumes that I am going to do it again because of my egg count. But 
I do not have. A, I would do it again if I had if it was free, but um, I'm I've used up all my money, which is what I wanted to do. I'm going to do it again. I don't want to predict, but I would say I would get like five immature eggs out of this because I'm going to have like at least ten eggs taken out. Uh, I'm just gonna. Godspeed to those eggs, and maybe one day they'll succeed, but um, not really anymore. So. Other than that, before this morning, feel great. No side effects. Not really. Definitely heavy. Discomfort physically, but like a physical obstruction, but not like headache, not a. Still no other side effects. Injection is going fine. One in the morning, two at night. So, yeah, I'm gonna get on with my day. It's Memorial Day weekend. I'm gonna have a really chill weekend and I'm gonna enjoy it. Cause I won't be triggering until like, I mean, I won't be doing my surgery until like Monday or Tuesday. So that's perfect. I'm just gonna enjoy the next couple days. And if there's any else, if they else update, I will do that here. All right. Bye.